Today we're looking at a couple of easy exercises for office neck. One of the things that you notice if you walk through your office, watch everyone in front of their computers, maybe they walk in looking pretty good in the morning, but by the end of the day, we tend to be like this. You see it over and over, people with vision issues, eye fatigue, everything builds up looking at computer screen. And over time, our posture tends to collapse forward. And when our posture collapses forward, we go into this little chicken position very often where the chin's coming forward. And basically what we wind up with often over time is a lot of tension in the back of the neck, what are called your neck extensors. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different easy exercises that you can use to start to mobilize that area. Now, the basic idea here is to go very slow with the amount of tension you apply because we're gonna have you kind of in this more constrained position. Uh, so keep your tension levels around three out of 10 as you start working through these mobility drills. Now, to make these easy, what I'm gonna recommend is you get a kid's toy, all right? One of these kind of soft little uh, balls that you can buy almost anywhere. You want to have a little bit of give. Uh, generally, I tell people it should be basically about twice the size of your fist, all right? It's a good starting point. Uh, obviously, if your neck mobility improves, you can use a tennis ball or your own fist as you do the exercises. Now, really simply, here's what we're gonna do. We need to stand up nice and tall. We're gonna take the ball, we're gonna put it underneath our chin. Now, the idea here is to imagine that your head is going to flex forward like this, but rather than hinging, we're thinking about making an arc, all right? Kind of a half semicircle with the top of our head. So step one, we're just gonna come in here and typically do somewhere between five and 10 repetitions, nice and slow, just pulling the chin down toward the chest. Looks awesome. All right, so we're gonna do that five to 10 times. Like I said, nice and slow down and nice and slow up. Now, as this starts to loosen up, uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add a, uh, a small rotation to it, basically. So. Here, I'm gonna tuck my chin, and at this point, once I feel a little bit of a stretch in the back of my neck, I'm gonna to start to tilt my head side to side. The goal here is, as you tilt, make sure that you continue to press the chin into the ball. As you do that, again, you're gonna get kind of this nice stretch, but the ball adds a little bit of stability here, and it also restricts your range of motion, so it's a little bit safer than just going, okay, I'm gonna stick my head here and roll it around. Uh, plus, the feedback from the ball allows you to be a little bit more controlled as you go through the movement. So, again, we start off with five to 10 basic, just what we call flexions, back up to neutral. Second drill then is another five to 10 repetitions of tuck your chin into the ball, side to side tilting, okay? Really, really easy movements. Uh, typically, we have people do this every hour, maybe, um, again, 10 reps every hour throughout the day. You can end your day not looking like a caveman. Uh, usually, that's a really good thing for you. <laughs> Saves you some energy. And also, one of the things we'll look at in our next video is how we can use this to also begin to work on maybe tension in your upper back or your shoulders. So that's it, really simple. Uh, just make sure that you use something, again, about twice the size of your fist to start. If you're already mobile, you can use your fist or a tennis ball. If you have any questions about this, let us know. Otherwise, have fun. I completely ran out of words. <laughs> wow, just total blank. Really excited about this one. <laughs> There's the outtake. We, <laughs> really excited. We, we I don't might, know what I'm doing. What are we doing? We might want that one again.